Victor, what's your assessment of the state of play here? As Mike said, we had a nice 7% pop uh, over the last few weeks. Is it about time that we do see a little bit of a, another mini pullback? I mean, we were getting into the 15 handle in the VIX. Uh, I do think, to me, the most interesting market action today um, of the core market instruments was the long end of the curve. The 30-year was effectively up for two points for most of the day. That's a pretty decent move given where volatility was priced. So what you have here is a, is a market putting on a bunch of flatteners, effectively a pricing and aggress aggressive Fed action in the short term and slow growth in the long term. And you've seen a pretty big move, a pretty big flattening of that curve over the last couple of days. In the short term, that's going to be bad for banks. You've seen underperformance in XLF. It's going to be decent for big tech, just not necessarily causation, uh, more so correlation, as you've seen big tech sort of trading with this inverse correlation to interest rates. And I think midterm, the question is, is the market perhaps um, a little bit too aggressive on what, where the Fed might go in 2022? We see a little bit of reversal, steepening of that curve. And if so, are you getting a decent entry point on things like financials, which might be a little bit, uh, you know, cooling off from where we were just a week or two ago? So is, is that what you're saying? Is that is that what you would be doing, looking at the, the spots that have been hit on this sort of surprise move lower in bond yields in recent days? So or, or do you flip the, I, the script and just go toward big cap tech, which does well on days like this? Well, I, I think personally, um, I'd be playing a move, uh, a steepening of the yield curve. I think there is a risk out there that if we do, not to get too macro, but if we do move uh, in 2022, as some are pricing in, you might get a, sort of a start and stop scenario. And, you, and I think you can't overprice um, an aggressive Fed in 22 without a per, you know potential for monetary conditions to tighten. So I think... That might be in the cards here, and if so, again, you might have a favorable, starting to build a favorable entry point for some of the financials. It might not be done yet with the flattening, but I do think it's starting to build in a favorable entry point.